Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and the second video in the vloggist series. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I love to share all things sustainable fashion and capsule wardrobes on my channel. And if you're not sure what vloggist is, I will be sure to link my last video on the screen here so you can check that out too. So today I want to share some of my summer capsule wardrobe essentials. I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I really don't like dressing for summer that much. I love wearing knitwear and layers and denim and outerwear, which is all not very conducive to hot weather. But I have picked up some tips over the years for dressing for warmer weather while still staying true to my personal style. Summer is actually a really great time to embrace minimalism and the less is more approach to styling. I took a look back at my spring essential video that I shared a little while ago and there's actually quite a bit of crossover between my spring and summer capsule wardrobes so for this video I really want to focus on less obvious summer wardrobe essentials and just things that I love that help me enjoy dressing for the summer months so let's get into it so the first thing on my list has got to be a pair of high-waisted black shorts these I was actually wearing them earlier today so if you're wondering why they're wrinkled that is why these are the Glenn long shorts from one of my most favorite ethical clothing brands called Tradlands I love these because they are really high-waisted which is a style that I really like but they're also quite long so they give me a nice amount of thigh coverage which is always nice and I used to wear a lot of high-waisted denim shorts in the summer months those were kind of my go-to you know summer short um, but Frankly, like they're just nowhere near as comfortable as something with an elasticated waistband and a looser fit. These are a linen blend, so it's a really nice material to wear in the summer. And as you can see, they're pretty casual, so I don't feel worried about like messing them up when I'm just, you know, lounging around in them in the house. And an alternative to an elasticated waistband is of course a tailored high-waisted short. These have a matching fabric belt and a really subtle kind of paper bag waist. And these feel a lot dressier but are still fairly interchangeable with the Tradland short. This pair is from a brand called Veta Capsule. Um, they are called the pleated belted shorts. I don't believe that they're in stock anymore and I'm not sure if they're going to be coming back for another season but luckily it's a really classic style and I've seen a few really Really similar pieces from different stores so I will link some similar items down in the description box below the next item on my list is an oversized shirt dress so to be honest I wear most of my dresses during the spring and summer because I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to cold weather and oftentimes the reason that I don't reach for a dress day to day is because it feels a little too um, feminine for my personal style um, which is why I really like the shirt dress style because it feels a bit more casual and more comfortable and more similar to what I'm used to wearing day to day which is a t-shirt or a blouse like this. So a shirt dress style just feels a bit more wearable day to day as opposed to say a wrap dress. This one is from Laud the Label which used to be called Tribe Alive and it is a lovely like maxi length black shirt dress. I love the really exaggerated silhouette of this dress. It's just so fun. You know, an oversized dress has been quite popular in the summer for a few seasons now and it's still one of my absolute favorite styles of dresses. So this one also has like a kind of pleated skirt at the bottom that's big and voluminous that I really love. It's really a, like a subtle statement piece in my opinion, so I usually just wear this and maybe some like simple accessories with it and some flats and I'm good to go. And that's really nice for me in the summer when I have more trouble like deciding what to wear in the morning, I just throw on one of these one and done pieces. This is a similar style, it's actually a little bit shorter, it's a midi length um, oversized t-shirt dress. This one is the Nico dress from Tradlands. It's one of their most like popular pieces and I completely understand why. So this one, I have it in a size medium and it is very oversized to begin with. So it's just super comfortable. It's really lightweight and airy and that's perfect for when it's just really hot and muggy outside. It also has pockets too and it has a kind of gathered skirt so it does have a bit of volume in the bottom half too which I really love but mostly I just like how you know boxy and oversized the fit is of this dress. This is also in a really beautiful lilac color too. It's one of the few pieces in my neutral wardrobe that that is a bit more colorful so usually I'll just wear it on its own. This has been such a great piece to have for my summer capsule wardrobe. 
The next piece I want to mention are a pair of stretchy wide leg pants. These are the everyday crop pants from Loud the Label again and I have basically just been living in anything with an elastic waistband for like the past week or so. I definitely get into that phase where I just feel tired of wearing like jeans when I'm sitting at my desk all day and so that's when I reach for this like really relaxed and comfortable style of a pant instead and I think these work so well for summer because they are really cropped. I think if these were a full length it would feel a bit more wintry to me and it also helps that they're in this really lightweight material so they're very flowy. I'm someone who likes to reach for a pair of black pants um, regardless of the season really so I think having more seasonal pants pieces like this, like a more summery style of a black pant, really helps me continue to dress and be true to my personal style regardless of the weather. And here is another alternative to a stretchy wide leg pant in this really beautiful like peachy color. Um, these are the 90% cropped ribbed pants and these have a very like subtle like 70s vibe to me. Um, they're also super flattering because they are quite like faded on the top and then wide and flared at the bottom and they're high waisted too. And this kind of ribbed material for pants is a very popular style this past year with all of us living in loungewear. But I think a piece like this just really lends itself nicely to a summer wardrobe too. My next summer essential is a bathing suit and not just any bathing suit, this one is from You Swim, and I think this might be one of my most favorite brands that I found in the past couple of years. Normally when I make a wardrobe essentials list like this, the things on that list are not going to be brand specific, but this is one exception to that because I think we all kind of struggle to find, you know, bathing suits that make us feel comfortable and confident. Um, and with this brand, I really feel like it's one that more people need to know about. I think they're amazing. They're also an ethical brand, of course. So their swimsuits are actually one size fits seven. Um, so they do have quite a bit of give in them. This is the Eva One Piece, um, so it has a kind of subtle v-neck to it. And there are so many things that I love about this bathing suit. So it has pretty good coverage, I would say. It is quite adjustable in the way that you style it too. So I know a lot of bathing suits nowadays are made to be really high, kind of like a Brazilian style cut around the legs. And I personally do not like that style of a bathing suit on myself. So I like that this one you can kind of style it either way. You can hike it up if you want or you can pull it down and have a bit more coverage on the bottom. The material is a bit textured and it's quite thick so it gives you quite a bit of coverage. It's not skin tight. You don't run into like a nipply situation too which is great um, because it's actually unlined and unpadded and normally I would go for a padded bathing suit although with this one I definitely don't need it. And You Swim has only a few styles but they have a lot of different colors too which leads me to the next one that I want to show you. And so this is the newer one that I have. This is the New Swim Aplom two-piece. It has a just a basic like square neckline, which is really simple. I really like that. And then this is the high-waisted bottom that comes with it. And then again, it's in that same like really thick, lovely textured material. This one is in the color Sage, which I just think is the most beautiful, soothing green color. And this is just one of the most flattering bathing suits that I've tried on as well as the Eva One Piece. I find these incredibly flattering and I just think they look great on so many different body types and it's a classic enough style where I don't need, I don't feel the need to like replace this in a few years and because it is seven sizes in one, I know that it will change and adjust to the natural changes of my body shape, which is wonderful. And I think that's one of the reasons why I feel so confident in this bathing suit. It's just really, really nice, super comfortable, stretchy, I love it. So I definitely think having a great like classic bathing suit is a summer capsule wardrobe essential. So personally, I'd rather not have to run out and buy a new bathing suit every time I go on a trip. I'd rather just have like a trusty, reliable one that I know looks great every time and that, you know, I won't grow out of or something. So yeah, You Swim is definitely that brand for me. The next thing I want to mention is actually an accessory and that is a good pair of sunglasses. So I have these Ray-Ban round metal sunglasses. I got them. I want to say a couple years ago and they're just my absolute favorite sunglasses. You've probably seen these in like all of my photos on Instagram and I have had other sunglasses um, 
you know, since I got these, but these are kind of like my signature ones, which is why I want to include this as a summer wardrobe essential. And I think you can change your look so much um, just by accessorizing with great staple pieces like this. And especially when it's hot outside and I don't have the option of creating interest in my outfit through layering. So I really rely heavily on accessories at that time. So my suggestion is to try on lots of different styles, go into the stores and try them on if you can, and try to find a shape that really suits your personality and your face shape as well. I think it's definitely worth investing a bit more in a nice pair that's high quality and that will last you a long time if you can, um, if you take the time to really look and think about the shape that you're going for. So ever since I first saw these, I knew that this was like the shape that I wanted to go for. I love a round metal frame, like a really thin metal frame. These are the gold frame too, um, which is great because most of the jewelry that I wear is usually gold, so it always matches with that. So obviously the style of sunglasses that you get is going to vary based on your face shape and on your personal preference. I really love this shape because they're a bit retro to me and I have quite a like long oval face shape so I think the round glasses sort of balance it out nicely. And I will link a blog post that I found down below. It has a full list of ethical sunglass brands. And the next accessory that I wanted to mention is statement jewelry. So I really consider this a summer wardrobe essential because during the summer my outfits are a lot more minimal, they're more simple. Like I mentioned earlier, because of the weather I don't really have the option of adding interest in my outfits through layering so I rely a lot more on accessories to do that. And I do really love like gold jewelry so I like to have more bold statement pieces that I love wearing in the summer with like simple tank tops and things like that. So I have a few here. This is a necklace from a shop called Soko and these larger chain link necklaces have been quite popular for a while but I do think it's if you get like a classic enough style it will really last you for a long time. Also a snake chain necklace is quite a subtle and understated statement piece in my opinion. This one is from Misery. And also like a classic pendant necklace I want to mention because this is something that I wear pretty much throughout the year but in the summer if you're able to change out the pendants I think that you can kind of play around with more natural materials like pearls and stones and make more of a statement especially if you're layering it with other necklaces. So this is a basic curb chain necklace from Monica Vinader and then I also added this beautiful pearl pendant which is kind of an unusual shape and I love how it looks paired with like chain necklaces like this. And my last summer wardrobe staple has got to be these sandals. These are the Birkenstock Arizona EVA sandals. Um, I've talked a lot about these on my channel but I had to include them in this video because I've been wearing them pretty much non-stop all summer. <laughs> They're so incredibly comfortable. They have quite a wide sole too. Um, so they don't like pinch or squeeze your feet if you're walking around in sandals for long periods of time. Sometimes that can happen with other styles. And they're also made out of a recycled plastic too. So they're basically like weatherproof. I wear these out around the house a lot and in the garden when it's like dewy in the mornings, they get kind of wet and I never have to worry about these sandals getting ruined because they're just so easy to clean and very sturdy and very durable too. And because they are like all black and pretty minimal and just because the chunkier sandal style is quite popular now, I think that you can dress these up and wear them out really easily. Although I will say they kind of make all of my outfits look more casual. So I think they look really nice paired with like dressier pieces on top and then throw these on to kind of balance out the look and make it feel more casual and summery. So that is all for my summer capsule wardrobe essentials. I really hope that you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. And I'd love to hear what you consider a summer capsule wardrobe essential too. Make sure to leave those in the comments. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. That's such a huge help to me. And if you want to follow along with the vlogist series where I upload a new video every single day for the month of August, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see in the next one.